Hello all, the practitioner here, bachelor of science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, Fortean skeptic, and Aspie. Uh, I have Asperger's syndrome, so this is where my review comes in. Um, tonight I'm going to do a little bit of a review, um, my own personal review of a couple of sources I've seen of, um, or portrayals of, um, uh, both in real, um, both in representation of autism in reality TV settings, and, um, the only two instances I've seen of portrayals of autism by actors in, um, in fictional character settings. Um, the first piece I'm going to review is a film called Normal, uh, which my girlfriend and I just saw. Um, the back reads, um, it talks about three basic pe uh, three people, um, a mom who lost a kid um, in a car accident, a professor who's down and out, uh, he's a failed writer who's been uh, um, destroying every relationship um, that he comes in contact with, and um, a teenager who stole a car who, um, you know, who's trying to turn his life around after getting out of youth correctional facilities. Um, anyway, the film's all really good and the like, but the interesting bit is that one of the sideline storylines is that the, um, the professor character who, um, you know, the, 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 the philandering, um, professor, his brother is autistic, uh, a low-functioning autistic, well, more like a, high, um, a com sort of a high-functioning autistic, but, um, considerably worse off than um, Aspie such as myself or my brother. Actually, um, gauging it from how my brother normally reacts, I'd have to say that the... Um, for those of you who may have seen the film, um, it was released in 2007. Um, it, uh, for, um, it stars Carrie Ann Moss, Kevin Zegers, and Callum uh, Keith Wren. It's a Canadian film. And for those of... Uh, if, you just, if you do see it, um, the only difference between it and how my brother might work, who's who's something of a high-functioning autistic bordering on Asperger's, um, my brother reacts much the same way. He can't, uh, you know, he 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 sticks in his little fugues. He will, uh, you know, in his uh, in his hyperfoci, he will repeat uh, random things in order to keep himself focused, like random facts. The difference is is that my brother can speak much more fluently than um, this other person, um, than this particular autistic. But having actually been around low-functioning autistics, and not just my brother, but other, um, you know, again, b having been around my brother and other low-functioning autistics, um, I happen to, um, I would like to review this, uh, the man's performance. I didn't get his name, um, unfortunately, here, but I would write, like to rate this film for portrayal of autism at a four-star um, capability in terms of low-functioning autism, because the... Um, you know, speaking from uh, personal experiences in Aspie and knowing how my brother reacts uh, to outside events, um, they portrayed the um, the heightened sensory info uh, and, to, and the and the panic as to when he was focusing and holding his head and screaming, um, his inability to go outside or to um, and particularly um, his 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 being touched and his uh, issue of being forced to do anything outside of his normal routine. Um, my brother reacts, and he, um, he, what he did was, um, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, in the movie, uh, the autistic character actually fights his brother, um, trying to, um, you know, get him to do things, uh, like, you know, uh, touching him. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, um, this, this is a little bit emotional for me because of the fact that I've been, um, you know, I've, I've been around my brother for years about this, and this has been a bit of difficulty in the family. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm having to remain calm because this has been uh, quite, like I said, it's been a little bit traumatic for me. Anyway, uh, where was I? <sighs> Excuse me a moment. <sighs> I apologize. I am a little bit... I'm sorry, it's just this is, this is a bit stressful for me, so... Um, reliving what has actually gone on with my brother and what was in this film. Um, let me try to summarize it briefly. I'm going to have to focus while I do this in order to prevent uh, emotions from coming up to the surface. My brother will fight when um, when a new system comes in, a new person uh, comes in and tries to help him with something, or something new comes in to try to, uh, to work with the system. He will fight it virulently as because um, as if it was a... Well, this was more so back during his teenage years uh, when, when he and I were both kids. Um, he would often try to fight anything new because of the fact that it was contrary to something. You know, it, he didn't know it, and therefore it was uncomfortable for him, and so he would fight it uh, virulently. Um, you know, he uh, he also and still does have um, considerable. Um, he has considerable difficulty um, with physical touch. Um, 
whenever I get hit, um, whenever I get hit, or whenever I have a, a sensory info piece which I'm not used to, um, I will tense up and um, react very badly because of the fact that my sensitivity owing to my Asperger's is roughly about five times the normal. Uh, it, you know, my 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 pre, uh, my sense of touch is roughly about five times more sensitive than the average uh, neurotypicals. My brother, who is on the high functioning autistic and, clo and closer to truer autism, um, his sensitivity levels are about ten times that of a um, of a normal um, of a normal of a neuro of a neurotypical. Uh, and this is not just sense of touch. Um, sense of hearing and sense of sight are both along comparable levels. Um, for higher function, um, for high functioning autistics who are um, closer to the truer actual, uh, you know, who are actually closer to um, to autism, um, you know, closer to lower functioning autism. And and by closer to, I mean they are still able to function to a certain extent, but they don't have the, um, you know, and they're still able to speak and like and the like, and they can interact to a certain extent with the outside world. Uh, but they're um, they're closer to autism in the format of the developmental techniques. They they have difficulty in development and the like. Um, you know. Anyway, I would get um, the man who portrayed the uh, autistic in the film did very well in these respects. Um, he also um, he also did his repeating of random uh, facts he knew. Uh, was unable to um, you know was unable to leave his apartment. Was unable to you know move outside his world without help. From someone actually um, working on a level that he could not handle, and ironically, um, the way that he reacted both to his brother compared to the person who was willing to work things on his terms, as opposed to trying to force things from a neurotypical standpoint, um, you know, the, uh, the the interaction between him and his brother and him and his girlfriend to be um, was very consistent with what actually works with autistics and how an autistic would react to the outside world. Um, in terms of opening up and the like, and from that, I would have to give that a four and a half stars. Um, from that, now um, other instances, there was a detective show. I've forgotten the name a while back, but it plays on the Women's Network during the horror section every Friday night or something like that when what most haunted and the like play. Um, and uh, in this epi in one of the episodes, they had a 13-year-old autistic boy. Who um who just simply uh, but they only showed the violent aspects like uh when he came uh, like when he was touched or when he was brought out of his particular instance they only showed him getting violent with people and um you know and just simply uh you know getting the hyper um you know the hyper anxiety and the like when he wasn't in his normal routine um the process of that which and this was also a Canadian show um what I would can I would rate this one a um in terms of accuracy I would rate it a th about a three star. And the reason that I would rate it in terms of accuracy is because of the fact that it does portray, um, to a certain extent, what autistics go through during their panic times. And that men, mind you, again, this is another low-functioning autistic. That being said, unfortunately, um, it did not present a um, it did not present a true uh, account of uh, uh, autism, only to the fact that it only showed the uh, the fugue aspects of it. Um, also, there was an instance in the show of mentioning that Einstein might have had Asperger's syndrome, but as the character was about to mention it, they completely cu cut him off. Um, uh, they completely cut the detective off, um, meaning that Asperger's was not properly mentioned or you know other aspects of the autistic spectrum. Hence, I would rate this a three star, uh, maybe a two and a half star, owing for lack of um, proper representation. Um, third account uh, in fiction would be Boston Legal. Uh, in that particular show, they have uh, an autistic lawyer who, um, you know, who does have severe social deficits, but he still manages to keep a very hyperliteral focus on the law, and is still very good at what he does. I would rate this about a three and a half star, owing to the fact that um, they deal with the social, but they don't probably, um, but they don't take into account the fact that um, they don't explain how the autistic uh, or the Aspie in this particular case was able to use his capabilities to become such a good lawyer, owing to the fact that there are um, severe social deficits in law. Um, which, um, you know, for example, thinking on one's feet and reacting to emotional situations, which cause um, Aspies to be hampered in a lot of cases. Uh, this is emotional logic versus true logic. So I would rate that a three and a half star. Now, instances of reality TV, and I'm actually beginning to be continuing this in a two-parter because I'm going to go into a couple of instances in greater detail. But um, the only two instances in reality TV of which I have are um, Heather, uh, one of the models from the last cycle of uh, America's Next Top Model, who made it into the top five, she had Asperger's Syndrome. Um, and I would have to say that it was portrayed half and half. Um, I would rate that about a three star. And the other case I would rate is the Dr. Phil episode, of, of um, which happened about two years ago and pertained to Asperger's. And I would rate that a one and a half star.
and I will explain in the next video as to why. Toodles!